I've just got done filming a morning routine for you guys. I'm about to eat some lunch and then go out and shoot before the sun disappears. I just wanted to introduce this video so you guys can see the end result. Welcome to my morning routine. I wanted to do like a more realistic one because since certain events i haven't really had like a proper routine but i know that i'm definitely trying to wake up earlier since the days have started getting shorter just to make the most of daylight and the daytime because that's what makes me feel good and to get as much work done as possible and stuff like that so i feel like my morning routine actually starts the night before so i guess i will talk you through it and roll the clip so as I said before, my morning routine actually starts from the night before. I like to prep the night before to kind of just ensure that in the morning there's nothing I have to do, like the flat is ready for me to just go get working. There's nothing that I have to do like chore wise in the mornings. So I like to clean the kitchen first after I've had dinner, just put the dishes in the dishwasher, give the kitchen a little wipe down just so that the space is nice and clear. Yeah, just all the kind of essential kitchen cleaning duties that you would usually do. Look at that sparkling clean kitchen. I swear nothing gets me going as much as clean counters in the kitchen. I just love it, sparkling. I do the same with my bedroom or I try to I can't say that I do this every night but um, when my bedroom is at a point where it needs to be tidied I just put my clothes away take them off the bed and the chairs and off the floor <laughs> put them back in the cupboard um, and yeah just make sure my room feels like a very zen kind of place for me to be able to like have a good sleep and fall asleep well i know that if my room isn't tidy my brain is not tidy and i just can't relax yeah that is definitely super important for me and kind of has become part of my morning routine because tidy home tidy mind right okay but quickly before i get into bed we're gonna reel it back to like maybe like a month ago where <laughs> the sponsor of this video very kindly sent me possibly the most amazing mattress i've ever slept on introducing emma mattress you guys let's get this baby open i don't think i've ever opened a new mattress my old one was like a new mattress but it was given to me by someone that didn't need it and the ones before that i think i've just always had so this is wild sweet dreams found here Ooh. I have no idea how I'm going to get this out. <laughs> oh. So I just wanted to show you guys how quick and easy it was to set it up and just so you guys can see the mattress in full effect without all my bed sheets on it is beautiful um, I cannot recommend this mattress enough it is the most stunning thing to sleep on ever when I tell you I have not had a better night's sleep and anytime I have to stay anywhere that isn't in my bed now it's kind of upsetting I'm not gonna lie So fresh and so clean, so fresh and so clean, clean. And it even comes with an actual cover as well. My mum always tells me to get a mattress cover for my mattress. Probably would have avoided all the stains on my last one, but this one already comes with one. It's so, it feels so luxurious. It's like so soft and the texture is really nice as well. Oh, the sun This little tool's super handy as well. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I kid you not, and I wish I had got this on camera. My boyfriend who was staying with me at the time when I got this mattress, he'd actually been out on a shoot all day and I didn't say anything. I didn't tell him I was gonna switch the mattresses over or anything and I still had the box in the hallway. So he wouldn't have known. I think I was in the kitchen cooking when he came home. He went into the bedroom and then he came back out and his face was just like, like his jaw was dropped. He was like, you've changed the mattress, haven't you? <laughs> and he was just like, that is insane. So that's from both of us, not just from me. It is honestly an incredible mattress. So definitely check it out if you're looking for a new one because really and truly, I don't think I've ever slept on a mattress as comfortable in my life. 
and for my boyfriend to just know from the, the second he touched it says everything that it needs to say wait i fully forgot about the pillows i was too excited about the mattress stop do you see it swelling up that feels like a good pillow Oh, I'm so excited. And it's got a cover as well, yay! This feels like them really nice hotel pillows, I'm not gonna lie. I cannot wait to sleep tonight. I didn't think I'd say that because my boo's been on like a 12 hour every day of this week job. And like obviously tonight I wanna celebrate it being done and completed and like maybe have a drink, but like maybe, maybe we, we have some wine in bed and just watch something and go to sleep. One thing I also always do is make sure that I fill up a cup of water because in the morning I like to drink a whole cup of water as soon as I wake up, it really just helps me wake up. But I like to just make sure that I have that next to my bed so I'm like prepared in the morning and it's just there ready for me to go. Um, and also, you know, if you wake up and you're thirsty in the night, you've got a cup of water next to you. Okay, so now that the kitchen and the bedroom are clean, I'm ready to relax. I set my beautiful lighting on. I love these lights, they're so like atmospheric and they just really set the mood. Once I've climbed into bed and I'm feeling relaxed, I like to get my planner and just plan out the next day so that when I wake up in the morning I'm not feeling lost, I know exactly what I need to do and I'm not kind of wasting time trying to think of all the, all the things that I need to do. I've already prepared that so I can just get straight into things. That's something that's really been helping me with like being organized and just um, helping me to avoid like I guess getting distracted by other things. If I know that I've written in my planner what I need to do for the day and it's there in front of me, I just get started. It'd be amazing at helping me like not procrastinate because I can be the worst procrastinator in the world sometimes. So if you guys struggle with that too, I definitely recommend this tip. It's such a simple one, but it's super effective. And yeah, basically I just relax whether that's reading or watching something on Netflix. This evening I decided to watch something on Netflix, which I usually do because I feel like it just helps my brain shut off. I usually end up falling asleep watching stuff, which I know isn't great for you, but it definitely works for me. I also use, actually, an app called Sleep Cycle. I've been using this for absolutely years. It's such an amazing app. It helps track your sleep um, and it helps you wake up in like the lightest phase of your sleep so you don't feel really tired and groggy when you wake up um, honestly it's incredible um, and you can learn a lot about your sleeping patterns and stuff like that from it so I would 100% recommend it I'm not sure if it's still free like I've had it for years so it was free when I downloaded it um, but definitely check it out if you haven't already it's incredible Good morning guys. I guess here is where the real morning routine starts. The first thing I'm gonna do is just draw my curtain to let some natural light in. A lot of the time I do actually sleep with them kind of open just because I like to wake up um, with natural light. I feel like that also really helps with me not feeling super tired and groggy. I feel like my brain tricks me if it's still dark, then I wake up and think it's like 3 a.m. and I'm like, oh yeah, I've got loads more time to sleep when really it's like, 7 a.m. What I've been doing is actually as soon as I wake up the first thing I want to do is obviously drink my water but I go straight to the bathroom, brush my teeth, um, do my skincare routine and I feel like that instantly wakes me up and it's like right I've started my day now. Um, you know sometimes I guess on a Sunday or something you'll like lie in bed and just stay in bed all day like you don't do skincare routine I know it's bad but sometimes I'm guilty of that. Um, so this definitely just kind of sets the tone for the day and it's like right you're getting up your face is clean, it's really like refreshing and kind of invigorating. And then I make my bed. You gotta make your bed first thing in the morning. I promise you this will change your life. If I don't do this, I just feel like I can't get my day started. It's like, right, bed's made, you can't get back in now. But once I've made my bed, I have started another new routine, which is daily meditation. So every morning I do a guided meditation 
and I've been obsessed with the Calm app for a while now. My friend Helena actually showed me this app and from the day she showed me, I've done this pretty much every day. I do use this a lot and it's such a great app, especially if you're just starting out with meditation, you don't really know what to do or if you really struggle to meditate without some guidance, which I definitely do because my brain just goes all over the place. And this just really helps me set my intentions for the day and kind of quiets my brain down and it helps me to not open up social media and stuff first thing in the morning, which is another thing that I I try not to do now because there's just way too many distractions and sometimes you'll open social media and see something you don't want to see and that can ruin your day. So instead of doing that, I'll go on my phone, but I'll open my Calm app and just meditate. If you guys have been watching me for a while now, you guys know I love to train. It just does wonders for my head and my mental health. And also, you know, you get the physical benefits as well. So I'm gonna make myself like a light breakfast just so I have a bit of energy because I like to weight train. And today I'm doing a full body hit circuit, which are my worst nightmare, but I'm always really like proud and feel like I've made a great achievement once I've done them because I find them really difficult. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a light breakfast. Well, I say light, but I was hungry this morning. <laughs> just some porridge and a bit of toast. And then it's time to get ready for the gym, baby. So I'm putting on my favorite Alpha Elite sets. You guys see these sets on Instagram and I get questions all the time. These sets are from Alpha Elite. I think this is my most favorite pair of leggings I've ever owned. I've got it in like four different, four or five different colors right now, but I, I want more. It's just they're always sold out because they're that amazing. So yeah, I'll link those down below if you guys are interested, but yeah, just putting my gym kit on. And then I noticed that I had some dirty laundries like piling up. So what I like to do is I like to put laundry in when I know that I've got stuff to do. So I'll put the laundry in go to the gym by the time I'm back from the gym I can just take it out and I'm not just kind of sitting around waiting for that to be done yeah so let's head to the gym you guys it's super early but this is the way I like to start my day because I feel like the gym um just sets me up for the rest of the day if you go in with that intention of like I, I don't know there's like discipline in it I guess um then it helps to keep me mo not mo well yeah it kind of gives me motivation to stay disciplined for the rest of the day um but it also like the endorphins just do wonders as I said before for my mental health and um yeah it just leaves me feeling good and like able to be my best self and put my best foot forward for whatever else I'm going to be doing that day so as I said I'm going to be doing a hit circuit today um and I also get so many questions about the app that I like to use and I I think I found the app for me you guys in terms of like exercise training apps and this is Chrissy Cheller's tone and sculpt app she does have a youtube channel she's incredible i'll link all her insta and youtube and stuff down below because you need to check her out she's just amazing so yeah i'm doing the high intensity circuit and this is the day i dread most i swear i half the reps like i do half of what i'm meant to do and it still kills me um so if you're looking for a workout app please just give it a go it's absolutely incredible um yeah and let me know how you get on with it and good luck also <laughs> Once I'm done but with the gym, get home. First thing I wanna do is shower because I am a sweaty mess. Um, so yeah, I just jump in and have like a little quick shower but like a really hot relaxing one. I like a warm shower. Um, and the reason I've put the <laughs> towel over my head is just, I prefer it to a shower cap but it's just to keep my hair straight because my curly girls know any steam, any heat, anything like that, especially when you've got super tight curls like me, they're just not, they're not a match steam and curly hair are not a match yeah so have my shower do my you know the usual moisturizing all of that 
Um, I do do a second skincare routine after I've been to the gym if I've been like super sweaty and stuff um, and a bit of a heavier skincare routine. If you guys want my skincare routine, let me know and I will do a video. I have had a few requests on Instagram um, and yeah, I'd like to share my new skincare routine with you actually because it's so great. <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing this day now, but whatever I do, I try to get dressed for the day regardless because that also puts me in the main mind frame of like, I'm at work. I don't want to just stay in like sweats or anything like that because it makes me feel super lazy. So time to get changed. And today's outfit is just a cute little skirt and this amazing yin yang jumper from Skinny Dip, I believe. And then yeah, it's just onto my makeup routine. I'm just going to speed this up because you guys have seen it a million times. Did I? Maybe you haven't actually. I recently just changed up my makeup routine. So if that's something you guys would like to see also, then just let me know because I would love to film that. And I've just bought filming lights. So I'm you know, I'm really, I'm on it. So if you want to see it, just let me know. And then it's just time to sort out my hair. Um, and then I head back into the kitchen just to get out of my bedroom. Cause I found that if I spend the whole day in my bedroom, um, then I'll find it really difficult to sleep later on because I start associating that with work um, and I just can't shut down from that. So I go into the kitchen slash living room and then just sit down to do emails because I have been so bad with emails. I generally am quite bad with emails and like responding to people. So that's something else that I'm trying to make a conscious effort to improve on. From there, everything that I need to get done that sets me up for the day. It's done, feeling good, ready to shoot, whatever it is that I'm doing that day. That is basically it for my morning routine. I've just found that this is what works for me and it's been really amazing at helping me kind of get a routine going again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see an evening routine or anything else that you guys would like to see from me. And I will catch you guys all in the next video. Until next time, bye.